Hey guys, it's Michael Valentino from Crusader Caravans in Campbellville, Victoria. Today, I have something awesome to show you. Behind me is a Cross Country Mad Max, the newest addition to the MY25 range. The Cross Country Mad Max is probably gonna be one of the biggest, if not the biggest, seller within the cross country market. This thing is gonna directly compete with some of the big boy off-road caravans. We put a heap of power, a heap of suspension, and some things I don't think you've ever seen before. This guy behind me identifies as DC14975. It has a tear weight of a measly 28.63 kilos, an ATM of 3,500 kilos, a ball weight of 146 kilos, and a whopping payload of 637 kilos. This measures in at a 19 foot three caravan conventional measurements. And from the tip of the A-frame to the back of the spare wheel, it is a total of 8.5 meters. You couldn't ask for any more in this caravan, complete with a Victron system, diesel hot water service, diesel heating, slide out kitchens, and a lovely wine cabinet. You better take a look. Take a look at this thing. It is an absolute weapon. This caravan behind me is a 19 foot three cross country Mad Max. So the brand new innovative range coming to the Crusader caravans for the MY25 vans. This van features some of the most outrageous, outlandish and awesome features that I've seen within the Crusader caravan range ever before. The guys at Crusader have curated a particular arrangement, a particular set of specifications for our absolute weapon travelers who want to go anywhere and everywhere. This suspension on this thing is so good, one of our guys, when we were moving the caravan to an expo, left everything on the benches and was driving the way back from Essendon here to Camelfield, which is over a few Ks, and freeways and everything, and everything just sat. The Cruise Master suspension on this is a brand new unreleased suspension with different leveling systems. It is out of this world. It's so complicated, I've actually got the manual inside my pocket because I cannot for the life of me even attempt to remember half the specifications. Before you get too excited, I better just run you through the start. Let's start at the A-frame. This is a hot dip galvanized, also available in a Raptor coat if you're after a lighter setup. Chassis from the team at Intelligent Engineering. This is a three millimeter, 450 MPA grade of steel, hot dip by the team at Valmont Coatings, in compliance with all of the Galvanizing Association of Australia's compliance measures to make sure that this thing is gonna stand the test of time. It features a DO35 rotative coupling, with a ratchet handbrake, of course. We've got a massive arrangement of Anderson plugs here. This guy here is powering a caravan. So you pop this in your car, the caravan on the roof is gonna pressurize the caravan and the cabin automatically, because we're gonna leave it on. Our disc brake uh, Anderson plug here powers the Hydrostar disc actuating unit. We've got our 12 pin plug to handle all of our indicators, brake lights, all that sort of stuff. And our DC to DC charger located inside the van, which is a Victron system. We have our beautiful, Four ton compliance chains, if you need to go to that four ton compliance. We have our, fair bit on the A-frame here, we've got an anti-sway system, which is a Tucson sway system, which is your conventional Dexter unit, as people like to say, but it's a Tucson unit. Tucson make everyone, so we've just gone direct to Tucson. We have an awesome relationship with the guys and girls there. Um, this guy is your anti-sway system, so it works as you drive. We have a trail safe system, this is hardwired the caravan batteries, which in this case is a 600 amp Victron system. It is loaded. So batteries are outside as per the compliance measures as stipulated by November last year. Um, you've got 600 amps worth of lithium Arizon batteries there on the outside, accompanied with the Arizon Victron top tier system. 3000 watt inverter, auto switch, this thing flies, but I'll show you with that in the inside. We have a black jack. We have a retraction button. Look how easy that is. You just hold him down, he goes up and down. Who's got time to be lifting jockey wheels? You've just spent X amount of money. You wanna make sure that you don't have to touch a thing. It is awesome. Now, you will notice there is no stone guard across this front here. We have these conventional bash plates as implemented across the new MY2025 range and the toolbox range. However, some people go, I still want a stone guard. You know what, why wouldn't you? You've spent a lot of money. You wanna make sure that this thing that's gonna take everywhere is gonna be able to handle those terrains. So we had a look at the ordering system. We had a look at what people are asking for. Crusader have done the research and gone, what do people want? Rock tamers or stone stompers? What's the point of making you pay for a fixed turn restricted stone guard? Let's go ahead. We'll have a chat to the guys at Stone Stomper. We'll get something in the works. This is ready for whatever stone guarding system you want. If you think you're gonna need something more than our bash plates. Inside this, we have our LPG storage. 
So, it's really important. Everyone's going gasless, 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 gasless. Unfortunately, what a lot of people who have this thought process is, they don't allow for multi-day events. So, what if there's seven days of bad sun? What if you run out of gas? What if you run out of batteries? What if you run out of power? What if the system decides that for whatever reason, like technology does, it doesn't matter the best of the best, worst of the worst, doesn't work. I see all the time on different owners clubs, big electrical systems, big battery systems, seven kilowatt this, 14 kilowatt that, fail. And they've then got a tin can on wheels. So Crusader looked at that and said, we want our customers to flex have flexibility. We want to be able to make sure that in any event, they have a fuel source they can use. You have gas for outside cooking exclusively. There are otherwise, there's no other gas appliances in the caravan. We have a diesel filling point inside of that contained area. So that's an AU focus uh, heating uh, system in there for a diesel heater. And awesome, we have a diesel hot water service unit that is going to run that hot water as you need it. Firewood box, this thing is beautiful. So it's got the Crusader cutting in it, we we'll use it for a little bit of time. It's that aluminium black powder coat. Beautiful, love it. Conventional toolbox, we have jerry cans either side in case you wanna take that extra diesel, whatever it may be. You can strap a different sort of cooking device in there, whether it be Weber, whether it be an electric cooker, whether it be a Komodo, whatever is your choice. We have our jerry cans that'll hold our 20 litre jerry cans. That A-frame, of course, it's built by the guys in Intelligent Engineering. It is a three millimeter all the way, uh, three millimeter steel, I should say, hot dipped from there all the way back to the wheels. Um, so you've got a 12 inch substructure as you go. So. Um, standardized build across the range. We just up the spec, up the scale, and then we've put on a four and a half ton suspension. So the ATM on this is 3,500 kilos. If you have a vehicle like a four, you know, a, an upgraded Land Cruiser or a Chev or an F-150, you can go to the four ton. F-350, you can go to four and a half, whatever you can slap on the thing, this is ready to go. You pick up the phone, we have a conversation, we get it to that four, four and a half ton, whatever it may be. But Cruise Master's got the backing, ready to roll. Now, we have our firewood box, like so, on this side, and we have a flat plated slide, which has some cleaning agents in here. Clearly, the Crusader team uh, are waiting for us to return them back to the factory, but why not a bit of theft? We have our circuit breakers on the outside, main isolator and inverter switch, as well as mains power plug-in. On this side of the caravan, we have a slide out, love it, massive storage facility in there. This is conventional on our Excalibur range, but this is on the cross country range as well to make sure that you still have a heap of storage. Um, again, it's our top tier flagship. This thing's got everything. It's absolutely loaded with fruit. We lock these doors up. These are our brand new doors. We believe these are gonna be far superior than what we've been using previously as far as dust ingress into these areas. We've got dual windows featured on our cross country Mad Max. So three in the range, trail breaker, single axle. Mad Max is at 93 and that, that 21 mark, I believe is the cross country extreme. Most people want compact. This is gonna absolutely nail that expectation. Down here we have two 300 amp lithium batteries from a team at Arizon. And we also have a full width extension on our um, chassis. So the chassis on this has this last little bar that runs all the way across that the floor gets seated to, everything gets stuck to. So it's that reinforcement, it's that one step up on the chassis build. So does the chassis change to a cross country extreme, Mad Max and all the other range? Yes, it does. There is something fundamentally build different within our cross country range that gives you that off-road warranty as well as that suspension. Underbody mud flaps, we've got a mud flap like so. And then underneath, we have our underhanging mud flaps, as well as all of our airbags, our compressors, our checker plate water tank protections, all those bits and pieces um, on this unit here. So everything's tucked up nice and high, including the battery boxes. We have a portable solar panel input as well as output if you need it for your Victron system. Come this way, we have two 110 litre freshwater drinking tanks. We with a quick fill system, so you don't have to use those fillers, they're just there um, if you want to, tip a jerry can or whatnot, um, but you fill it up with a quick fill system just here, you pop a hose on, you turn these valves and it sucks water directly into the water tanks. This is our grey water tank output, um, and it has a bypass valve in case you happen to be at a, you find yourself in it at a caravan park or something to that effect. This is a two inch razor that runs through this area for that extra reinforcing. As I said, the chassis is fundamentally built different for the cross country range, so you get that build assurance to know that you are above the rest. This van is built with the intention of conquering the world. Now, absolutely, completely on the fly, we are running with a BFG, BF Goodrich wheel and tire. 
These things are absolutely massive. I'm just looking for a size on this little guy. He is a uh, 265 R17. I believe it's a 17 inch wheel and tire giving you that three and a half ton up to four and a half ton compliance. Um, this is a 12 inch brake with airbag suspension and we are running with a disc suspension. So disc suspension from the team at Cruise Master. So um, brand new sort of standard adaption for the cross country range is a Cruise Master suspension. External shower right here with hot and cold water, wash the feet at a beach, wherever you happen to be. And this is a composting toilet uh, fan outlet. Would you put your mouth over it? Probably not. Might taste a bit foul, but hey, I'll leave it to you to decide what you'd like to do with your caravan and your toilet exhaust outlet. This is our window up here. So we have a side access window and we also have an annex light on the off side as well as a full length sail track across the whole side there as well. Um, we have four stabilized legs all the way across, of course. And we have just on the bottom here that make it a little bit different. Um, uh, our recovery points, but also it's really like departure points, I suppose, as well, because you've got this sort of lowest impact point here. Uh, everything's rubber grommeted to make sure that it's well and truly protected as wires pass through. This here is a flush point for cleaning out our gray water tank. Come with me. We have two clear, rear large LED clearance lights. We have a camera on the back there um, that is sound as well as an annex light above that. So that's a wireless camera. So there's nothing to wire in the car. It's nice and easy. Spare tire on the back. Unfortunately, unlike all the other vans, we will not give you a spare wheel cover because one, the rims just look too sexy and two, uh, I can't fit it. It's just too big. It's too, too girthy. It's the girth master. Now we have a full 40 millimeter composite roof, composite floor. So it is an XPS insulative body, fiberglass skin on top, fiberglass skin on bottom. It starts from here and goes all the way to the other corner block here. This thing has a full monocoque like construction. So strength, yes, it's improved. Insulation, yes, it's improved. Complexity of build, yeah, it was difficult. Five years in the making, this thing absolutely kicks ass now. It is ready for any off-road terrain you possibly throw at the thing, but you also want to be in style as well. And if you take a step back and have a bit of a squeeze, this thing is so sexy. The decal is like two meters high. It is gorgeous. The team at Crusader have gone, we want elegance, we want opportunity, we want flexibility, we want rigidity, we want something that speaks volumes about the person that's gonna tow this with their 300 series specked off its head cruiser or whether it be their Chev or Dodge Rams or whatever it is. And this just absolutely fits the brief. It is so awesome. I pulled this in with a, um, an Everest. Probably not the ideal towing vehicle, something like this, up to that three and a half ton. Just could obviously balance your weights a little bit more. Um, you know, a few car seats in the back makes it a little bit more interesting. Um, but this thing, I cannot tell you, the, the ride and handle of this was easier than a single axle little chameleon or CRV van or a 6x4 trailer. Moved less, felt less impactful, was so easy to navigate, so easy to move. With that construction, fully composite walls, fully composite floor, fully composite roof that starts right at the tip, right over. This is a true one piece roof, no joins on the roof. The best Crusaders ever put forward, the most advanced construction we've ever seen. RV Masters is accredited by the Caravanning Association. Just released, we are one of the first RV Masters. We've hit all compliances. We've hit all build dynamics. We are the people that are financially strong to be able to help you, to give you that support, to hire the people we need to hire to make sure you guys are protected, helped, and served. That's what we're here for, that backup service, family owned and operated, Crusader Caravans and this Melbourne dealership. Caravan Manufacturer of the Year for 2024. Why? Because the van's built awesome. They're like a tank. These things with the construction method are out of this world impressive. You want some outside cooking? Have a look at this thing. This is a slide out kitchen. We've got hot and cold water. We've got our gas outlet just here in case you want to be able to do that cooking. But ideally for us, there's very little gas. We've got this point just here. That's it. We want to be able to give you that flexibility. What happens if you run out of power? What happens if you run out of this? What happens if that was Serge Valentino's concern when he put this thing together, when he put the concept together, it was dynamic fuel source. How many people carry different fuel sources in their vehicle to be able to have long range tanks and stuff like that? Plenty. These are the things that really we want to make sure that you guys know that we've sat down and looked at the industry as a whole and go, where can we improve? And we think we've done that. We have side deck cooker, three burner gas. We have taps, 
hot and cold water, sewage. Our taps are located underneath here, right? Um, got cold water, hot water, with our Hydra, uh, Hydra King uh, disc actuating unit, powered by that blue Anderson plug. You've got full through storage. So if I put this back, have a look at this thing. Cocoon. So you've got full through storage in there, right? So you've still got a little bit of storage, which is great considering we've just taken, you know, we've got a slide out kitchen to one side. You can remove this. If you're not an outside cookie, you're more of a WebEQ sort of man. I'm a WebEQ sort of man. You can get rid of him. That's completely fine. Give me some money back. Everything's a happy day, right? But, um, Majority of our orders, when we've looked at the order bank, these are the things they're adding. So it saves you the effort, saves you the headache, we've just gone ahead and made it standard. These guys lock up like so, cocoon. And we have an awning, full width. I believe it's an approximately 16 foot awning, but my favorite thing, check this out. Picnic table, absolutely no keys. We just give it a press and she pops in and boom, pops back. Um, awesome little addition, it's the little things, it's the little differences that make Crusader and all the other people stand out. We have 12 volt cigarette sockets either side. We skipped over that one before, but this is a 12 volt cigarette socket. You plug in, plug in a compressor to be able to pump those tires up. You want to plug in a fringe, just Starlink. Check out the 12 volt Starlink Mini. Have a look at that thing. That thing slaps. Come this way. When we release this thing, we put this beautiful suspension, all these awesome things that no one's ever seen, an Eberspac uh, diesel heater, hot water service, all those sort of things. First question. Yeah, Michael, I want the, want the wine cupboard. All they're interested in is to drink. It's insane. Us Aussies just love the drink. So, me, I'm more of a Coke Zero sort of guy. But hey, that's okay. You got three slots here for whatever you like. Canadian, Jamison, Shandon, whatever it is. You want um, Grey Goose? Grey Goose is on you. Whatever. That's fine with us. We have glass storage across. We have power points. See a 12 volt cigarette socket and aerial point as well. This is the Cruise Master suspension. This is the body control system. So this is their brand new control system with their Cruise Master suspension. This thing here has an odometer. So you can see how many kilometers you've actually driven on it. It has horizon leveling, right? A lot of people, oh, does the airbags auto level? Well, technically, yes. They level to the weight of the van for travel. So there's a difference between horizon level and drive level. Drive level is one thing. Horizon level, completely different. Horizon level is we want dead straight when we pull up to a caravan park. So it goes, pulls one side up automatically. These guys have a few different options. And to be completely honest with you, I can't show you half of them because it is so new, so unreleased, there's not even the phone app that you're gonna to use to control it. We've got this beautiful little display. If you press this button here, I believe that goes into drive mode, horizon leveling. And then I believe with these things here, you can start manually inflating the caravan as you need to on one side to another side. So if we have a look, you're gonna hear that compressor kick in. Have a look at this thing. And you can't tell I'm getting shorter if this video stays where it is. Check that out. It's 96 PSI. I added its head, or percentage I should say, sorry. And then we can drop it. So you get to a caravan park, you wanna drop the height of the van, you just do so by holding this little button. Absolutely stunning, but you've also got your phone control, which allows you to be able to just literally press a button and go, hey dude, I'll have at it. Or you just press home and we go ride height and you go, do I want to drive? Do I want to go normal or do I want to raise it up? Let's go raise. And it says, warning, moving vehicles, stand clear. Three, two, one. And then it'll go ka -chung. Check that out. It's actually crazy. Um, Cruise Master are just next level with some of the work that they've put into this. And I think with that difference of product, this is where this thing stands out. I kid you not, we had a flat plate on a table. As we're driving back, couldn't get into the van. The boys at the expo lost the keys. Nothing moved in the van. Just driving, nothing moves, remains flat. Out of this world, not another suspension I've come across can deliver in that sort of method. I'm gonna borrow the camera just like so, and I'm gonna show you. Have a look at that. That is nuts. That is out of this world, and with the new technology for Cruise Master, look how clean it is under here. Check that out. It is well and truly protected, and you're well and truly ready for any of your adventures. The Crusader Cross Country Mad Max is that next development and size development of what you'd expect in a van that is gonna be able to deliver on so many merit of opportunity, whether it be full off-road use, whether it be van park to van park, you just wanna have everything in it, this thing is absolutely weaponized. So we shut our little cabinet like so. 
Leave a comment in the comment section below. Likelihood of these bottles getting stolen during a caravan show? Top tier high. We have Dometic Aluminium double glazed windows on all the Crusader MY 2025 range. Little upgrades, but the dual windows are standard across the, uh, across the Excalibur and the cross country range. One, two, three annex lights. We have vents on all sides for all heat evacuation points if needed. We have our uh, Malenko omnidirectional antenna on the roof there. The Malenko omnidirectional antenna means you don't have to tune anything in as far as actually turning the uh, antenna around to find that set signal. It's easy, you press tune, have at it. Starlink, all that sort of options and stuff, it's completely workable with this particular caravan. Um, it just depends, everyone's so different. Everyone's needs, I've had people buy these things and then just literally go to a caravan park. That's okay too. They just want to know that they've got everything ready for them. Other people put these things to its paces and go as hard as they can, as quickly as they can. And some of the photos these places get to, I didn't even know we existed in Australia. Come with me. We have our bargain handle as conventional on the outside. Um, we've got a little step light on the inside like so, voila, our plastic infill step there. We have our uh, black, uh, black wheel arch guards with a Crusader brand logo like so. This is the brand new Kamek Invictus door, right? The Kamek Invictus door features a glass exterior. I believe, waiting for the confirmation, believe this turns into a digital LCD, uh, digital panel that has tap codes. It's got light projection here. But one thing I just like about it, because I've opened up 100 doors, is cocoon. That little front handle, I believe, puts less pressure on the handle. Everything looks far more refined, very sleek, very thought of. You've got your three strikers, two and three. Very good trigger switches. And the one thing I love about it, it's a, it's a radius door with, with square edges, which means um, it means that perfection's perfect every time. You know, it's not, they're not trying to work against too many radius and stuff. The top's still the stock standard radius, and you've got this rubber seal for that pro uh, air, uh, dust proofing, sorry, um, which I think is really important in a van that is going to go to places that we could only dream of getting to without a caravan just like this. This caravan is an absolute weapon. And to be honest, I probably haven't done it merit in this particular video because I tell you now, the amount of stuff this thing has, the amount of features, the construction method alone, and little things that I've learned as I'm going through this, like the difference in some of the build elements of the chassis is just fascinating to me after seeing the same thing come out of the factory for five years. The development ergonomic changes are fascinating, amazing, and I just cannot wait to show you the inside of this thing and all the gear this thing has. I'll meet you inside, come with me the inside of the Cross Country Mad Max. He's mad on the outside, or she, I haven't asked. Inside, however, this thing absolutely stands out. I cannot believe the finesse, the finish, the thought that Crusader's gone ahead and put into the next version and evolution of the Cross Country range. Just take a look, the, the tiny little details, the incremental differences to that of the cross country, to the Excalibur, to the Musketeer, out of this world. And I think you're really gonna appreciate these little fundamental differences when it comes to purchasing your caravan. This is our Cafe Dinette 19 foot three van. I'll be honest, it feels like I'm in a 21 and a half foot van. I don't know how they've fitted what they fit into it. It is out of this world amazing. Before I show you too much, I think it's really important that we just talk about one little feature, the Cruise Master BCS body control system. So this is a brand new thing. It's the next generation evolution within the Cruise Master suspension. As I mentioned, there's so many little bits and pieces. So we've got a BCS system inside of our control panel, which is a Bluetooth control system. The way it works, it's very hard to capture up here, but instead of having all these very large, um, you know, different fittings and stuff running to different sides of the bags and running to a control box and running back out with all these relays at fire left, fire right. They've gone for this new system, something that we're seeing very slow development, very, very, very uh, slow to market launch, but they've obviously grabbed it quite hard and gone, what do we need to do to get this sorted to be able to bring it to market? And who is the next biggest caravan manufacturer we can work with? At the second largest just caravan manufacturer that is Crusader Caravans, they've made the right choice. We have an airbag control system with our phone app, soon to be released, can't even show you, it's that new, exclusive. Yes, expensive, no. 
we have an advanced inflation module. So the way this works, everything gets plugged into it. It still gives you the availability to have air accessory mode. So essentially, um, there's a little, if I read correctly, there's a little button you can press and a little mode you can change this to to be able to allow you to use the onboard compressor to fill your tires, pump things up, whatever it may be, air jacks, whatever it may be. We have an odometer and service alerts. It'll tell you when you need a service. Instead of the boring emails you get, hello there, Joey, I'll come bring you down here for a service, spend some more money with us. This will tell you, hey, I've actually been driving, that's 10,000 Ks, I'm ready for a service. Let's do it. You'll get some prompts on your phone. And then the auto return to the ride height. There's so much in this with horizon level, manual modes, driving modes. I cannot tell you though, without a sales pitch about it, this thing, when I towed it, was the smoothest tow I've driven. Normally for me, I can tell a little bit of difference, but I can tell you now, coming back, picking this thing up from the factory, driving it down, going through the freeway, it was like I had a, a leaf spring 19 foot caravan on the back. It was just awesome. Enough of the boring stuff on the outside, let's get to the fun stuff on the inside. We have a new coined, beautiful, slyfold table. What's a, what's a slyfold table, you ask? Well, I think you'll hear about it for a few months to come. A lot of people are gonna be implementing this within their vans. This is a slyfold table. This is a slide out trifold table. Gone are the days of playing footsies under the table, hitting your legs, smacking your leg around, absolute pain in the neck. This just goes back. We have a little pocket underneath to be able to pop all of our bits and pieces in, all of our bits and bobs. Um, your PowerPoint is located on top there with USBs either side with um, inside the reading light. And you've got ambient strip lighting top, bottom, top, bottom of the kitchen, everywhere. This thing's lit up like the Rod Labor Arena. We've got all of our upholstery. Haven't looked at the spec sheet, I must confess, I believe this is a full leather upholstery. Don't hold me to it. Smells like leather. Touches like leather. Tastes like leather. Stay tuned for the video of me licking the lounge. We have beautiful finish. We have all this beautiful stitching. The cosmetic differences you think, oh, it's just a caravan upholstery. They're all the same. Well, they're actually not all the same. We sat down with the guys that do have upholstery. We do a lot of people's upholstery. And we said, we want something different. We want something suave. We want something sophisticated. We want something, ex you know, exquisite. And they said, you leave it to us. And we went, <laughs> made him do it about 15, 25 more times until Mr. Sergio Valentino said, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. I'd want to own that. Check out the armrest on this thing. It doesn't seem like a lot, but if you take a seat in it, right, and you're here and you're having a bit of a chill, it's comfy. I've sat in doctor's offices that are far less comfy than this. I've sat on couches at people's houses that are far less comfy than this. You know what's even more fantastic? Is the ability to pop this out and pull out your latest K-Zone magazine that you read when you were a kid, although probably a little bit outside of the generational gap here, I reckon. And you just pull a mag out, um, or you know, maybe some Snickers bars. Whatever you want to put in there, that's your choice. I'm not your dad. Now. Reading lights, USBs, we have our double power point underneath the overhead cupboard. We have three overhead cupboards. We have a VJ panel feature overhead cupboard with reinforced gas struts as well as upgraded hinges to that of what we were previously using. Gone are the days of acceptance of piano hinge. People want and love the piano hinge. We love the piano hinge. However, it's 2025 and in 2025, people want perfection. They want us to be able to angle the doors left to right, account for movement, account for sway. We've been using and r and ding these for the last 12 to 18 months in the field and we have not been let down once, not even once. Haven't changed one. Pretty good. Reinforced struts. These are a press in like grommet into the door so that when um, the manufacturer, the CNC it all out, and then they have this little device that we've paid a lot of money for, that we press these like plastic plugs into the door. And then when we fix our screws in, they're just into that plastic plug. So the the way in which the door moves, which is like so, you're not gonna get that pull out of screws that some of these other manufacturers deal with. So it's, it's changed completely. All of the furniture inside this caravan is 16 mil marine ply that's got knocking me through it. You're well and truly and fully protected. They, it's a reinforced material, it's a reinforced product. It's just fantastic. This cupboard, what's in this cupboard? Heaps of electrical gear. It features a Bluetooth speaker and radio. So you don't have to keep taking your um, or switching the, the, the cupboard radio on and off. I was a big ambassador for this. I didn't want the, um, the radios for 2025 to continue. So we've got the JBL unit. Um, these are across the Excalibur and the cross country range. The Musketeers feature a slightly different one. This is the radio um, and also a Bluetooth 
um, system that you can take with you to the beach. You take it outside, take it to the bedroom, take it to the shower, take it wherever you want to take it. Hey, you don't want to take it? You don't have to take it at all. You can leave it at home. However, you have a house party at your house and you think, oh, we've got to have some music. Pull it out of the van. It's multi-use. It's 2025. Why are you restricting? Flexibility. Now, in this cupboard, we have our FJ7 Pro remote that my boys mount up. Thank you, boys. We have our pump, pump, oh, sorry, light switches, pump. Losing my mind. Light switches, uh, our hot water service um, switch. We have our, um, that just activates a 12 volt to the unit. We have fuse, 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 fuse. Solar, solar. So how much is on the roof? Well, there's six 220 watt solar panels, which equates to over 1200 watts of solar. It's like 1320, 1320 watts of solar running to two separate MPPT 50 amp Victron solar controllers. Try saying that, bit of a mouthful. We have circuit breakers because of course, everything we do is compliance. So we make sure that all of our electricians, all of our plumbers, all the stuff that you want to sleep at night and go, I'm covered, I'm protected, are done by people that have been there forever. It's the same people every single day. We have consistency, we have reliability, we have our own plumbers and our own electricians. Most manufacturers are outsourcing this stuff to third-party contractors. They're the biggest things. Water in caravans, or flow rate of water, or even being able to just like know that the person that fitted off your van, signed off on your van, knows your van. You know how many companies I've picked up the phone for secondhand caravans and said, yeah, so uh, with this electrical compliance, they go, man, I never even saw the van. That's insane. Plumbing, same thing. P plumbers, no, 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 out of this world. I could, a whole other video. But biggest takeaway, RV, uh, RV Master Manufacturer, 2024 Caravan Manufacturer of the Year, the most innovative, technically driven, and advanced construction that exists within the market. Crusader Caravans, you cannot go past it. Make sure you do your research, compare apples with apples. This is a dual, is it tri-fuel source fan. You have solar power, so you can use all of your 240 stuff because you've got a whopping big inverter. You've got diesel heating hot water services. You've got, that means your hot water is powered by diesel. Your heating is powered by diesel in remote areas. And we have gas in case you want to do outside barbecuing because most of the conventional barbecues, if you have seven, eight, nine days, you can still use your electric Weber, whatever you want. We have the capacity, but you're not restricted, which is the most fantastic thing about it. You don't want to use it, turn them off, leave the gas at home, put other stuff in there, make it a firebox. Whatever you want to do, you have flexibility. No one's telling you what to do. I'm not your dad, but I can be for a small price of. Now, have a look this way. We'll go through the bedroom. I think you're gonna love it, right? So no front window on the front here. We've got overhead cupboards. One, two, we have a robe. We have a caravan above my head, which activates when you plug that Anderson plug in. We have LED lights switchable by a removal remote, which uh, my boys haven't mounted in here because this one is not ours. We are borrowing it for the caravan show. Thank you, whoever we're borrowing it from. We have a queen bed. We have LED ambient strip lighting across there. Diesel heater control is there. We have reading lights either side of the bed with USBs. We have 12 volt fans with uh, three speed fan controls as well as 12 hour timers. Three, six, nine, and 12 will automatically turn off. We have remotes and there's lights on the fans just in case you really need a light up the area. Power points either side of the bed with USB C's, USB A's. We have dual windows either side. Now, if you're not watching this video, chances are you know why, but the idea is to be able to block this out at night so no peeping toms are peeping in. And this one can remain open for a bit of airflow. If they climb up this high and they're looking through to be able to have a bit of a peep, I take it as a compliment. We have the ambulance strip lighting controls, which are little tap of buttons, just like so. And they fade in, fade out. You can see on the video as well, how different the van looks without those lighting. Absolutely awesome, right? Caravan dust suppression. That's gonna keep the dust out of your caravan. These things are wicked. We have a photosensitive um, smoke detector and we have an FJ7 Pro air conditioner. It's an IBIS compatible, uh, sorry, it's a uh, inverter compatible air conditioner to be able to make sure that it's using the power efficiently and effectively within this caravan. Have a look at this. This is our bed or under bed area. DC to DC charger, it's a 50 amp DC to DC charger, Bluetooth compatible, so you can log in and see where it's at, what it's doing, what your car's doing, what your alternator's doing, all that sort of stuff. This charges your caravan batteries via your car. This is a 3000 watt, 120 amp, 12 volt inverter charger. This inverts and charges, it does both. He's a beautiful little man. Thank you, little man. 
We have essential fuses, non-essential fuses. This is our servo display system. This here communicates to an LCD panel above the door. That tells you everything that's going in, going out, coming in, going out, all that sort of bits and pieces. Water tanks, pump control, and inverter on and off control. Underneath here is our diesel heater. We also have a 50 amp solar controller for one set of solar panels, 50 amp solar controller for the other set of panels. And then it combines that and you get to see the whole thing coming in from the side of the roof. It is a whopping system. This is the highest end Victron system with a 600 amp lithium system that we offer. And you have the full backup support of my Melbourne dealership here at 1457 Sydney Road, Campbellfield. A lot to learn. And you also have the support and backup from the team at Arizon. Arizon support Victron. They're a reseller, they're a wholesaler, they're an awesome team to deal with. The team there, Hello Angus help us significantly. They go through with customers, they troubleshoot, they log into the system. They have the ability to log in and see what you're doing, what you're doing, what you're not doing. However, as expensive as this is, I tell you what's more expensive, this bloody bed. This thing, get this, is a full, it's actually crazy. One of my guys was drinking coffee over it. He's going, oh, it's a pretty cool bed, man. I said, yes, it's like a $3,000 mattress. Can you like not do that, please? Um, I don't know the exact price, but it's bloody expensive. This is a latex mattress. So um, pillow top section up top here for extra comfortability. And I will say, it's pretty bloody good. This is the um, highest end mattress that we have available. It's higher end than most of the other items that we have here at Crusader Caravans as far as mattresses are concerned. I actually and genuinely personally sleep on a... Um, mattress manufactured by the same people as this um, in Epping. And I can tell you right now, uh, me nor the wife complain. It's a fantastic, uh, fantastic product. And the guys put a lot of, lot of thought into this with the cut corners to make sure it's easy to get around. It's a six foot two by five foot mattress. So if you're a tall gentleman, small gentleman, you're gonna be happy. If you need a little bit more room, you can actually just have a quick look here. You do have, right, a handle, right? And there's, Two inches there. That's a six by four. You only need, you know, you only need fifty mil. Go six six. All right, it's a little bit tighter on this side, but hey, like, it's a box on wheels and it's a compromise and it's still really easy to be able to navigate around. I don't think anyone's going to complain about that sort of distance. In the bedroom, before we do a quick camera transition, we have a twenty-seven inch majestic TV that my guys have velcroed up to make sure that we can't fall off as we're driving. Hence the leaves. We conjure with diesel up and we make them look nice and we tuck them away and make sure they're all beautiful and whatnot. Um, but we're moving a little quick now for the old caravan shows. We're trying to get things ready for you guys to just play at the Sandown Caravan Show. This TV swings around. It's got Netflix, KO, Foxtel, whatever you want, right? Um, it's got it all, depending if you've got the subscription. We don't pay for the subscription. Don't call me about paying for the subscription. This is your entertainment spot. The notable difference with the uh, cross country is you've got these little nooks. They're just little things. Um, and I think the wider petitions and stuff in here as well, they add something of value to the product. They add something of care and they make it just so much ref nicer and more refined and you gotta see it, you'll love it. Towards the end of the bed here, we have this little nook, a little bit hard to see and our cameraman's doing a fantastic job. We've been under the pump lately, so thank you, Mr. Cameraman. We have this beautiful little nook, right? And phone, pop it in and I still got like 20 mil worth of room in there. Um, whether it be books, whether it be remotes, whether it be maps, whether it be some things we should mention on camera, whatever it is, you can take it with you and you have these little, little hidey holes, little spots to be able to pop different things. And that's the flexibility. You've got a massive payload, you have that flexibility. We don't put you in a box and go, well, you're gonna do this because, it, no, hey, you have at it. Second largest caravan manufacturer in Australia. However, we wanna make sure everyone feels listen to and that what they want matters. Meet me in the kitchen, I'm gonna show you this little one now. Welcome to the Cross Country Mad Max kitchen. The Cross Country Mad Max kitchens feature some pretty little nifty things, some things you've probably never seen before and some things you've seen plenty, but I think we've done them better. Now, we have our stone black pack sink. Um, that is an optional sort of query on these, so you can have um, a white sink, we can have a black sink, we can have a um, chrome sink, we can have uh, our grease tanks like so. We can have the black, the uh, rose gold, or we can have the um, silver, the traditional. Um, it's completely up to you. We have a straight edge bench top. All of the doors inside of the uh, cross country and the Crusader MY25 range are a 
a soft close draw. So Crusader have gone to that next level. We have the um, soft close draws across all of these with push button latches. The one thing I love about the push button stuff is it's just not moving. Very, very strong, very, very sophisticated look. And of course, it doesn't have to be black. You can absolutely go for the chrome. You can absolutely go for the rose gold. It's completely up to you. We have choices. As far as choices, one thing, choice that we don't really give you is using exceptional plumbers uh, we use all of the PVC fittings and uh, watermark fittings, of course. This is a smell trap or a u bends to be able to make sure you don't smell the delectably delicious um, grey water outlet smell, so they stop all of that smell. Um, typically, what you see in the domestic applications, we use this in the kitchen sink, in all of the um, outlets or water inlets, I suppose, is in our um, basin and in our shower also. So you're not gonna get that waft of smell up through there. So little refinements, but we're not using any flexible piping or anything. It's all PVC. Everything's tucked to the side. It's well thought out, well curated, well protected. Crusader love drawers for MY24. Sorry, five. It is a... Can't get used to that. Love it. And a drawer. So one, uh, one, two, three, four. Five, six. Six drawers in a kitchen that's a 19 foot three caravan. It is definitely hard to argue with. This is the new Kamek microwave oven. It's got some really cool features about it. This guy is a brand new, very hard to get little unit here. <clears throat> We've got uh, various settings, of course, on this unit, and this is obviously running through our um, inverter 3000 system for the uh, Victron unit. Above, we have our uh, Thetford induction cooktop. Thetford induction cooktop, obviously, small, large burner. Um, you've got control screens across, like, so once you pop them on, once the inverter is on. Um, this is a fixed unit. Um, a few customers that I know will be of interest will be to remove this and use the power points as allocated above with that ambient strip lighting. It gives you more bench space. If you want to be able to have that bench space or flexibility or be able to move this from the inside outside, I like the idea of a removal one. So that is absolutely something that the Melbourne dealership can help facilitate. Um, there's so many different brands out there nowadays. Um, unless you absolutely despise leads, I think the, the little refinements I think that we can add upon here at the Melbourne dealership is the uh, introduction of a removable induction cooktop. Be able to take it outside, fry some eggs, watch the sunset, whatever it may work for yourselves. We have a range hood above the top with lights, just because why not? Just add some more lights to it. Big window. One thing I like about the window is it's well placed. So as I'm looking at, I'm literally looking at as I'm sitting down, which is great. Draws all the way through, as you mentioned, our large scale cupboards. And we've got two double power points underneath the overhead cupboards recessed into it because obviously we use a fully composite construction. Whew, come this way. We have a removable remote holder, Ooh, like so for our um, LED lights in our roof, so you can pick and choose different areas you're gonna fire. Um, these work via like a remote control switch that then fires to a little box in the cupboard, that little black box that says sphere, and then turns the lights on and off with a um, relay control unit. We have this little key spot. It's something that uh, Crusader Caravan's owner, Chris, uh, Sergio Valentino, is very passionate about. Uh, definitely doesn't lose his keys all the time. Uh, would pop keys up in here to keep them all tucked away and uh, hidden away. And uh, people love the idea that you can just keep everything hidden and tucked away um, and has a spot for everything, which I absolutely love. So these little openings here are exclusive to the uh, cross country range. A Little bit of a different sort of vibe. I absolutely love them. When you walk in, it adds a little bit of a style guide to it. So they've got a beautiful knocking bead through here just to really finish the area off. Slightly wider petition, really just to give it a different feel, a different dynamic in the van. So I think they've absolutely nailed this with that. We've got a little cupboard underneath like so. So you've got your little power points in there for your induction cooktop. Um, this just presses, this is actually a door material, so it's that same consistent look and feel finishing the whole way down. Fire extinguisher, making sure we're safe and ready. We have a grove handle. He's not going anywhere to be able to hoist herself into the caravan. And we have the Invictus door that we went through. Um, we've got a block out blind like so with it. Um, awesome new door, little additional stuff. So you got that block out edge to edge. So great little addition to the um, Kamek range. Very excited to see the development of this guy. On our entry, we have opening cupboards like so. We've got 12, I believe 12 at least, I haven't counted them on this particular one. I'd assume they're all the same. Um, 12 little spots to hide our little bits and bobs. Um, 
the again you've got that conventional grabber we got our one two and three hinges on each one of the doors this is great for just being able to pop in those extra little bits and pieces when you're on the road whether it be tomato sauce and if you're a tomato sauce cupboard person pff, all respect gone um cumin or salt or pepper or anything that's more conventional oregano um can pop in here little spice cupboard or alternatively just bits and bobs whatever you like really it's your caravan i don't want to tell you how to use it we have a 274 liter compressor fridge from the team at Kamek. Uh, sorry, Thetford, I do beg your pardon. Thetford, Thetford, still thinking about the gorgeous Invictus door. Thetford fridge, it allows for temperature control on the freezer separately to that of the fridge. It's got night mode to keep them running nice and quiet. And you've got temperature controls one, two, five. So love that, 274 liters. <sighs> Never gonna argue. We have a drawer underneath the fridge. Who's giving you a drawer underneath the fridge? No one, love that. Soft close, <laughs> nothing sexier than a soft close. Underneath our seating over here, we have an Eberspacher um, diesel hot water service. This guy here, the way it works is through a, um, works through the process of heating up coolants to then run water over those pipes over like a heat exchange. So essentially then it outputs, so it heats the coolant up to something ridiculous. I think it's like 120 degrees, whatever it may be. And then you've got the water that then is maxed out of that 50 degree mark. The Eberspacker, I believe, is our hot water service switch up there, which is then going to fire the unit on and then um, power them up. Things that we're looking at, things that the Melbourne dealerships are looking to be able to implement into the MY2025 Mad Max is the implementation and use of at the Eberspacker air exchange as well. So we're going to have the um, diesel heater hot water service. Um, to make it a combo unit. So something that will be um, absolutely, I think, critical to the evolution of this product. This product is fantastic. And the way they've done the dual fuel source system and stuff like that in this is great. It allows you to be able to really use your product to, I think, the furthest extent of where Crusader's reaching the heights of. But um, this little unit here, I think that little tweak, little tweak will be the biggest difference with this unit here. One unit to be able to heat the van, one unit to be able to keep the uh, shower running nice and warm um, we used this unit the other day and it was just out of this world um, the the speed at which it heated it up so German uh, product the Eberspacher is absolutely top tier and that Eberspacher I've confirmed that's exactly how you pronounce it Eberspacher Eberspacher come with me let's go love this stay there just wait little things refinements our sliding door matches all of our door material you wouldn't think, not that big of a deal. It is when you're sitting on your bed and you look at a blank white wall after you've got this gorgeous arrangement of cupboards. How boring is that? Now, it matches the same door material. It's been curated specifically to be beautiful and exquisite. This is the conventional looking sort of musketeer style um, ensuite. Um, it's got the um, same undertone lighting. We've got our black basin, black hardware. Again, multiple options if you don't like the black. We've got white, we've got Rose gold, we've got everything to be able to make you enjoy your caravan. We have cupboard. Again, all PVC, tucked away, no smelling the gray, all that sort of stuff. Draw, draw, and draw. We have three drawers. We have straight edge bench top. We have heaps of choice to be able to pick on your particular caravan. We have our little touch lights that we press and they dim down. Are dimmable, love that. Pong. And they said, let there be lights, and to them there was. We have our full shaving cabinet across the back. Um, a lot of people when they walked into the caravan just had a look at this, they're like, no mirrors. I'm like, yeah, no, it's cabinets. Like, really, really cool. So, um, his, hers, and otherwise, right? Um, you got full shaving cabinets. When it's got the weight of the mirror, it just goes, kukunk, love that. Um, awesome, obviously, inverted power points in this side of the cupboard. We have a top load washing machine um, from the team at Aussie Traveler. Um, gas strut, we have a water, Peg basket, everything's easy to use, everything's awesome to play with. Sliding door, we've got our uh, tower rail, tower rail, and our taller roll holder. Um, and I suppose the more interesting thing that I'm sitting on is our Ogo composting toilet. The composting toilet is a very questioned accessory. A lot of people, I know there's a few manufacturers in this space trying to have a bit of fun with the uh, compost toilet. Compost toilet, the way it works is it separates liquids and solids, um, waste, of course into different areas. So you've got a holding tank for the um, liquid at the front. You've got a 
tub, I suppose, and a, um, a 12 volt appliance in there that mixes or churns the matter inside of here. Um, and then it runs a 12 volt fan to dry out the compost in there. So there's a whole process, whole tutorial, everything like that with the Ogo toilets. We like the Ogo because the Ogo is just slim, right? So it's very, very easy to use. Um, and it's probably been one of the biggest things, like when I was signing caravans off for like plans and stuff, so that's typically what I do, the old caravan plan man. Um, when I was having a look at that, the amount of people that added the Ogos is just crazy. So uh, liquids go in the front just here into a separate section and then solids in there where we've kept all the little bits and pieces, lubricant for the bowl, 12 volt accessory lead, the composting brick that you get from Bunnings and all of the similar people. Um, this is the composting units that I particularly like because it's a uh, slim line. You don't have to um, lift it up and lean it back or anything like that or, or touch too much of it to actually make it work. You've got these clips on the front that when you undo these clips, the, um, the liquid waste holding container comes out and then um, you can dispose of that because it is a sterile, I mean, it goes, urine goes sterile after not a very long time at all. Um, and then obviously you have the solid waste, which you know any conventional uh, McDonald's bin can hold um, or you know, dispose of it properly, whatever works for you. I'm not gonna tell you what to do. You've just bought a caravan. Let's have a look. This is their shower. Uh, also, just fan above head, right? You'll notice in this van, um, through the neck of the van, if we have a bit of a look, there is no um, uh, roof hatches. So uh, you probably look at this video, and especially when you stand in here, you don't actually miss them, to be completely honest. You walk in here, and there's so much lighting with the ambient strip lighting, and just how large the uh, double glazed windows are, it really isn't missed. Um, I really thought I would miss them, but I, I, I just don't. Um, I've got a roof hatch above me for all of the lovely smells that you're going to input into your composting toilet. And uh, of course, in our shower, where the, you know, brand new diesel heater hot water service is going to be loading up with the heat in here. So, whew, come and have a squeeze. This is our fiberglass shower cubicle. Um, this is a one piece cubicle. So we, uh, these are blown locally, uh, fiberglass molds. Um, it's one piece. And it has ultra high uh, shower heads. So it goes all the way up and it can lean down and point, so it goes right to the roof height. So um, we've had a few customers, oh, can you, can you make it go up? Can you make it go to the highest point? It's literally just that now as standard with the MI25 range. We have a black frame shower, black frame um, and black fittings as well. We have a, sh a little soap holder, a little flick mixer, a little hose holder, um, and of course, a shower vent above me that allows air to be put in, allows air to be sucked out. Um, these units and the way these are constructed means that you're really not gonna have any issues with water ingressing through your caravan from an internal water source. I think the Crusader and the in-house plumbers, the guys at SNJ, all, everyone involved is really making sure that the money you've spent is gonna last the test of time and that, that that confidence of the product and the expectation of the XPS build and the 40 mil roof, a 40 mil floor, really gives you that reliance and love for the Crusader product like so many people out there as the second largest caravan manufacturer in Australia do. Um, I think the van brief for the cross country range was a few things. It was has to be tough as nails. I think with the partner people of um, Cruise Master, I really think we've done that. I think partnering with people who can give us something like that an iPad on the screen. This thing can show us, right, what's going on, right, what the discharge is. Check this out, right, we're gonna go to AC on, right, this is a little game here. You got fresh water tanks, fresh water tanks, waste water tanks. Our inverter is on, right? And then as we start using our system, like so, you're gonna start seeing, as we start using some of the stuff here, AC loads coming in, our solar coming in, to the battery and then using through our DC power supply. So if I start turning things off in the van, you actually start to see the effect. So see this, you've got 135. This is where you start seeing the um, power usage and things that we are um, you know, using in the caravan. It gives you time to be able to monitor this. So it's 153 watts, it's 11.4 amps, right? So you can see that exact correlation. So you're losing 148 you get, um, and your caravan system is using 151. Solar's putting in four watts, AC loads, currently we've got nothing in the van, it's 240, and then AC inputs, if you plug the van in, you'd start seeing it there. 
you do all these little bits and pieces in this system, so much to scroll through, but you got AC current limit pump switches, you've got fresh water tanks, gray water tanks, gives you full indication, gives you a full dashboard display. Anyone who's been in the business world can understand the importance of um, dashboard displays. Um, the good thing about this as well is um, you can track and measure everything that's happening inside your caravan. So that way, when you pick up the phone and you say, hey, like I think this or think that, or how does this work, whatever, we know automatically because if we need to jump into that system, we absolutely can jump into that system. We have the confidence and the reassurance with this product. This product is, you know, if you're new to the world of caravanning, this, this product's pretty confusing, really. Like caravans as a whole are pretty confusing. There's so much in them. We do three hours in an intensive handover. We do almost 24 hours of a full quality control, check, clean, maintenance, detailing, all that sort of stuff. And then I still get the phone calls, but I want the phone calls because it shows me you're using the van. It shows me you're asking questions before anything goes astray. Where the people you speak with are the people we love to work with, their family, their cousins, their friends, their uncles. Uh, everyone who works at Crusader, it's a family owned and operated business. This dealership here is owned by my lovely self and organized and ran by my beautiful crew. Um, we are a very uh, warm, inviting, and, and awesome little dealership located here at 1457 Sydney Road, Campbellfield. If you would like to find out a little bit more about this range, if this thing does tick the boxes, it does meet the requirements of what you're looking for in your next caravan, if you want something bigger, great, let's talk about it. If you want something smaller, no problem at all, let's do it. Want to have a coffee? Be able to find out exactly what Crusader and why Crusader keep winning these awards why we keep meeting these compliance regulations that so many can't make, why time and time again you keep seeing them on the road and every person you bump into just loves them, come down, give us a call. You can call us on 9359 293803 is the area code here in Melbourne, Victoria. You can head to our website, see the latest blog posts, the latest stock vans, vans in stock. You want to trade your caravan, bring it down. We love trades. www.crusadercaravansmelbourne.com.au you can head to YouTube, we've got tutorials, hand-up tutorials, how do things work, walk through, all that sort of stuff. You will love it. Guys, you can email us at hello at crusadermelbourne.com or alternatively, you can like and subscribe for the next video. See you at Sandown Racecourse, see you there. We've got deals, we've got vans, we've got the latest, greatest RV Master Manufacturer of the Year 2024 tech. We'll see you there guys, farewell. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please feel free to check out more from Crusader Caravans Melbourne. We have plenty of tutorial videos, product highlights, and walkthrough videos for your next new Crusader Caravan. Thanks so much. Hit subscribe, push the notification bell so you stay up to date with all of our latest content. Thanks so much and happy caravanning.